and a white bitch, and I think his name was OG Bobby Johnson. That is true. I did scam a, a white bitch named OG Bobby Johnson. I scammed him for his Seven Up. Pretty savage. That's why I, I. That's why I really put savage bars in my songs because I feel like I am ruthless. I just looked at my deep freezer, and that bitch was eating my frozen bologna. And yes, that did happen. Uh, OG Bobby Johnson did get revenge on me. So, I'm not doing a whole genius thing here. I just wanted to explain the the whole thought thought process and behind all the lyrics of my very first song, my hit song, Grammy Award. All right. Um, so, next topic, um, I want to talk about features. So, where this is basically the, the features I decided to get on my songs, the feature I decided to do, why I chose them. First off, Polo G on Grammy Award. Uh, because I feel like Polo G is a fantastic artist. He also kind of looks like the f- green haired kid from Phineas and Ferb. So I thought it was the best collaboration of all time. Uh, yeah, but that was that one. That one didn't really have any much thought process. I also hopped on Rap Star by Polo G. That song was, oh, that's a banger. A banger of a song. That song hit on the billboards. I'm going to get a platinum record for that. Oh, I just ripped ass. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. Um, so yeah, next song, I think, uh, what what order was it? I think it was Lil TJ. Lil TJ, Biggie, Biggie Heart. Um, that song was supposed to be a uh, kind of sad, kind of happy song. I think Lil TJ did a great job of uh, putting that sad part in there. And then I kind of went pop. A little bit of pop, a little bit of rap. Now, because I do consider myself quite the pop star. Call me Biggie Pop Star. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's. Oh, yeah. And the one with the baby on Foo Star. So you guys might have heard the song Rap Star. Now, that song was a remix of Foo Star, but Foo Star just never got released. Um, because I didn't want to come out as a rapper until around this time. Uh,. The next one was uh, free. what was it? Uh, next one I think next one I uploaded was Nike Flow, so that was a solo song because I was getting a lot of criticism for doing solo for doing features. Said people were saying you can't do songs alone, and so I got really pissed off, and so I did a solo. It 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 was a banger. It hit Billboard's gonna get another platinum record for that song. Uh, people really enjoyed that song. Okay, so next uh, next feature was uh, uh, a little Tekka on Don't Repeat It. You know, Repeat It on his album, uh, something Tekka. I don't remember the album name. Uh, repeat It was a remixed version of Don't Repeat It featuring Biggie Foo and Gunna. It was originally going to be Biggie Foo and Gunna, but then he changed it to Gunna because he felt like the song was too long. And obviously, I wasn't as big as a name around then, so he wanted to get that song as high as possible. And then my most recent feature uh, on Nardo, Nardo Wick's song, uh, Who Wants Smoke, featuring Lil Durk, Biggie Foo, 21 Savage, and... G Herbo and G Herbo, I kind of have beef with, but I think we kind of squashed it when we did that song. Yeah, so that song, I feel like I did. Oh, I hate. It. I regret it so much. I, I was doing something and my verse was horrible on there. Like I struggled to breathe at one point because I was so tired and all that. So yeah, I think that's all I really had to talk about for that. Um, my favorite rapper, and just just get all this out of the way. Her rapper is definitely Blueface. I think he has the best lyrical writing. I think he has the most meaning when it comes to his bars. Definitely, for sure. Um, how I got featured with big artists is because I had hookups with the baby, Lil TJ, all that. What made me start rapping? I've already explained this in the beginning. I have a thing written down here. How I make my song. So, I don't use rhyme zone. I use my mind. All right, now let's get a word from our sponsor.
If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's Cars. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're going to find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tie. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right. We'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right. I challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's cars. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed. Okay, we're back from our break. Um, just had to get a little sponsor in there because I need to make that dough. Um, so me and Lil Mosey, why have we never made a song together? Because we obviously are, would be a pretty good duo. Uh, because we have beef. Back, back about a about a year ago, I stole, I scammed him out of his uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and ever since it's been. He's been trying to get shooters on me. He's been, whew, he's, he's doing too much. I think he's homophobic. Well, I mean, I am too. I, I don't like gay people. Don't cancel me for this, or else I'll make a distract on Twitter stands. And you guys, oh, that'll be brutal for you guys. Um. Yes, I will be doing pop songs, anytime soon. Don't know when I might do some more rap songs first and features. I might probably will do some features first before anything else. Upcoming music. Probably probably release a pop song next. Ugh, I don't know how to do that though, because I'm not good with pop songs. I'm really good with rapping and kinda like that ghosty main X Gar L X uh, kind of like I can like rock star kind of thing. I also have a beef with Cardi B because uh, we met up in real life, uh, and I call her flat. Uh, yes, I know that's pretty savage, but yeah, I think that's all we have for the introduction and in introduction of Biggie Foo. Let's just get right into our special guest. You, this is a follow up to the Baby's Distract, and you guessed it. One of the babies hooked Dan me on on Twitter said he wanted to get on the podcast because he wanted to explain his side of everything. And yeah, so let's just get right into that. Hey girls. Oh. Or Oh shit, are we still rolling? Hold on, cut it. Cut it. Alright, so, welcome back. We had to wait a little bit because um, the baby's running a bit late, but introduce yourself. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's okay to hear, I guess. I wish you are doing bad, but I guess that's okay. Um, so, first question I have for you, Mr. Uh, baby. Uh, so, when listening to my diss track, how did it make you feel? <laughs> uh, that, that's what I was definitely going for. Okay, question two. Why do you babies shit your pants? Hey, that's not funny. It's, it's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You know, I could pop your ass right now. And I would. Don't make me. Alright, so question three. Question three. Why are y'all babies so retarded? <laughs> oh, okay, question four. What would you do if I killed you right now? 
All right, that's it. All right, had to clear myself. Um, don't don't mention what just happened here. Um, I might have to. Uh, you guys might not even hear this. All right, we're gonna drop it anyway. I'm I'm savage. Um, yeah. So our next podcast, we will either have the baby or MC Crisper on. Um, MC Crisper is an up up and well, he's going to be an up and cup up and coming artist. Maybe he's kind of pussying out a little bit. But yeah, this was, this is the end of the very first Biggie Foo podcast. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely thought this would have added to the lore to Biggie Foo and maybe made people see me more in depth and be like, Biggie Foo is a cool guy. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Alright guys, um, so my manager recommended that I do a snippet of my up- upcoming song. Uh, can't say the name yet. It's pretty cool though. It's probably going to be my best song. I think it's on par with uh, the Baby Diss Track. They're both just completely savage diss tracks. Amazing beats as well. Oh my god, the Baby Diss Track beat. Pow, 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 pow. Fire. Uh, so yeah, this is not going to be a full version. This is an unedited, completely unedited version. So it will be quiet because obviously I can just enhance all that or my editors can enhance all that after I'm done recording. So yeah, just remember that this isn't a full version. This is a unedited snippet. Let's get it. Piggy Foo. Let's get it. Piggy Foo. Huh? You know I had this coming. Now distract. Mm. Uh, uh, huh? Just murdered a baby on my podcast. Sure was a blast. Gasty passed away. He was gay. Just gave a single mom a donut. She was fat as fuck. Slump AK a dump. Jumped him in kindergarten like I was a Spartan. Just slapped at Carly's ass in class with a piece of brass. I just caught a bass. I am the best. I'm going west to piss on these babies. They call me Jack in the Box and I'm full of surprises. Call me Roddy Rich. This baby a bitch. I got murdered on my mind like I'm Melly. Man, why this bitch smelly?